All right, I want to talk about this amazing book, Making Games for the Commodore 64 in Assembly Language. It is beginner friendly and it is by Baird. And I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce the last name. It is spiral bound beautifully and it has color illustrations, which is really nice. The author of the book has a YouTube channel, Board B Tutorials, and the source code for the book is on his GitHub page, which is in page one of the book. Practical information, it says, the book is not meant as a typical type-in book from the 80s. There are several examples here you can type in and run on your computer, but the point of this book is to teach you how things work, and so I appreciate that. And I've read through the first 100 pages, and it is really well done. It's very nicely written, and it's very well explained the basic concepts of assembly language. And to get started, he goes into the hardware of the Commodore 64. And then also, one of the things I do like about the spirals is the way you can turn the pages and lay them flat. And then also, you can kind of, you can lay them like where they don't all the way go down if you don't want them to, which is a nice feature of the spirals. The way the book is laid out, you have, basically he covers the hardware in the book, CPU RAM, the VIC-2, the SID, the joystick, talks about assembly language, some basic introduction to assembly language and what the mnemonics are for the language. This book is set up for beginners and he says when there is a topic that's more complicated, he, says, he just says, I'm strictly, I'm not covering that in this book. This book is a beginning book, so we're not gonna talk about basically complex topics such as scrolling and that sort of thing. So as you can see here in the assembly language section, that's where he starts to begin to explain all of the various commands there are for the 6510 processor. There's 56 different distinct instructions. And then we go into, or he goes into discussing using a cross assembler to write code for the Commodore 64. And the development environment for the book uses subline text. You don't have to pay $99. That's if that you can use the free version. And he uses charpad and sprite pad. And there's discussions on how to set up the development environment. And it also is a special note for Mac users. Basically, he does show how to install the development environment on PC and Macintosh. And there's screenshots for that. And then later on in the book, he goes in, into how to write programs, how to write your first Hello World program. And then he goes into creating a video game. He says a complete game, but it's probably fairly simple what he's done. I haven't gotten that far into the book, but overall I think it says beginner friendly, but really this is a beginning book. This is more than just beginner friendly. This is for specifically for the beginner, I think, and or any the intermediate coder who loves uh, programming in assembly language. And there's a lot of nice illustrations, screenshots, and and so on in the book. So I definitely highly recommend it, and you can purchase it. I'll put a link to purchase the book in the description of the video. And I definitely highly recommend checking it out and getting yourself a copy.